So the TF series was designed to be a simpler setup for uh, novice users, people who um, aren't always the audio guy. Uh, so one of the first things that we did was to be able to um, move all of the inputs up to on stage. We wanted to remove that multi-core snake that uh, so many of you remember from the analog days. Um, now all you need is a piece of Cat5e or Cat6 cable and you can run all of your inputs up on stage and outputs and all the way out to your console out here. So it's really easy to set this up and we came up with the quick config mode um, to make it easy to do if you were um, that person. Uh, all you need to do is put these in that mode, box one, box two, and box three, and you have inputs one through 16, 17 through 32, and 33 through 40. All of them already shipped all the way up to on stage. All your A to D's up there, nice and quiet, and it comes back on a tiny little piece of copper. Um, but a lot of you have gotten into this since it is Dante. Uh, it's very easy to patch, so you can switch things around. Maybe have a few inputs here, a few inputs on stage, move things around, make it easier for you on your mix. Uh, so all you need to do to control or repatch what we've done is to go to Audinate software uh, page at audinate.com and pick up Dante controller. And with Dante controller, all you'll need is a piece of ethernet cable out to your PC. And you can connect on the end with the, where, when you're down at the console or up on stage at the boxes. It's easy to connect. And as this system is all just a daisy chain hookup anyway. So there's no, no switch, makes it real easy. But once you're at this screen in the Dante patching system from, from the controller, we're gonna wanna uh, disable our quick config in the boxes and the quick config that's built into your console as well, giving you control of everything. So for this one, I'm just gonna turn quick config off on all of them. I'm gonna wait and notice that there's no change until we power cycle. And now you wait for the red lights to go away. So on this one, I'm expanding the network so that I can see it better. And then I go down to where the patches are made. And then I change these patches. I'm gonna change this channel to this channel, and I'm gonna change this channel to this channel. So now that you've made your changes, you'll just need to go back to the dip switches on the back of the 1608 and put dip switch number seven down on each unit to put it in resume mode which means it will always come back at the same setting that you're gonna leave it on right now. All you need to do now is power cycle and you're good to go. So as you can see, Dante Controller is a very easy way to quickly repatch your console just the way you want. So all your inputs fall just where you like them. Uh, it's a simple hookup. If you uh, will go to our website at usa.yamaha.com, go to the TF page, you're gonna find all of our application guides there and the deep dive into this so you can really understand it better. Uh, good luck with it, have fun.